Good morning on this devotion for Friday, February 5th, 2021. Good to be with you uh, this throughout this week, um, receiving comfort and peace from God's Word. Uh, blessings on uh, this weekend in your worship. Um, receiving comfort and peace from Word um, and Sacrament. Our Devotional follow this morning is Meditation on the Creed from the Christian Worship Supplement. And we'll hear a reading from John on chapter, chapter 1. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The word is near you, it is in your mouth and in your heart. It is with your heart that you believe and are justified. It is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. The Holy Spirit comes to us with your comforting word, which alone can drive away our doubts. Direct us to our Savior, Jesus, so that we may trust in him with our whole heart. Amen. A reading from Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me. Incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. And from the Gospel of John, chapter 1. The next day he saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this purpose I came, baptizing with water, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness, I saw the Spirit descend from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is the he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and have borne witness that this is the Son of God. This is the word of our Lord. So we think of the, the tremendous comfort we have, um, tremendous peace we can have in these words from our Savior um, about who he is and what he has done for our salvation. and gives us peace as John points to him as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. What comfort that gives, um, that it's not a few sins or certain sins and other sins we have to take care of. But no, this is, this is the sins of the world. Um, his set goal, his set purpose was to be that Lamb of God uh, to take away those sins. And, and it's because of that then that we have the confidence we do to go about this day, um, to, to live this day as the children of God, the child of God he's made us to be. Um, to receive that confidence and that peace um, today and always. And also, as it says there with uh, from John the Baptist, that this had to be revealed to him. And I think this, this time of year, as we, we, we remain in the Epiphany season before the Lent season begins, um, worth remembering, right? Uh, this truth of, of who Jesus is, of what the Lamb of God is, the lamb, right? All those Old Testament lamb sacrificed um, couldn't really pay for any sins. But here comes the perfect lamb of God, uh, the perfect savior of the world who could do just that. And, and this truth has to be revealed to us. And it has been revealed to us in our, in our savior, Jesus. It has been revealed to us through word uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, already in baptism revealed to us forgiveness of sins, life and salvation through this Christ, the lamb of God. And it continues to be revealed to us as we hear that word and receive him in sacrament. And this is the body, this is the blood um, for our salvation. And it's that revelation um, that is everything. I mean, it's absolutely everything for us uh, today, today and always. Um, that revelation of, of who Jesus is. And, and we, we pray that God keep us. Keep us trusting um, in Jesus, that Lamb of God. Uh, keep us trusting as 
as we go and, and, and soon enter a Lenten season where we see him anything out, anything but a powerful God and Savior, um, but doing the work needed to be done uh, to pay for our sins and, and give us um, salvation. We pray. Behold the Lamb of God that bears the world's transgression, whose sacrifice removes the devil's dread oppression. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sin, who for our peace and joy will full atonement win. Lord Jesus, scepter that rises out of Jacob, Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, rule our hearts through your suffering cross and forgive us our sins, that we may become partakers of your divine life. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray on the creed. Heavenly Father, create of all things, you give us all that we need for body and life. Every good and perfect gift comes from you, the Father of heavenly lights. Lord Jesus Christ, by your suffering and death, you have opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. We approach your throne, O God, with confidence for mercy and grace in our time of need. Holy Spirit, Counselor, and Guide, you have raised us from death by the powerful word. You, O Spirit of God, have made us your breath. Almighty One gave us life. Lord, fill our hearts with thanksgiving for your mercy and love. Move us with our hearts to believe and with our mouths to confess your saving name. Amen. Grace and peace to you, from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. Amen. Our blessings on your weekend. Enjoy the, the hymn from this past Sunday, our closing hymn.